Updating Drupal is not the one-click kind of update that you might be familiar with if you've used some of the other CMSs, and there's a lot of reasons for that. Updating Drupal Core actually requires that you have either FTP or SSH access to your root directory of your website. Now, in this particular instance, I've set up an older version of Drupal 8, and it's telling me that this beta 15 version is now in Drupal 8 RC3. I can download it, but this isn't going to update it for me. I've also got a couple of modules here that require updates. So if I click on the Update tab, you'll see that I can update those two modules pretty simply. But I should update Drupal Core first. Updates of Drupal Core are not supported at this time. It's a manual update. So what I need to do is go and download Drupal Core and then actually replace the folders inside my Drupal installation and then run a file called update.php. So I'm going to do that. It's not something you can probably do with me since, of course, you're running the latest version. So follow along. It is always a good idea to read the upgrade.txt file that comes with Drupal. Now you can do this on your own site, but it's also here at api.drupal.org slash api slash drupal slash core exclamation mark upgrade dot txt slash eight just google it <laughs> this is a detailed list of how to update your drupal core this is going to change over time as drupal gets a final release so there's a lot going on here basically here's what we need to do number one you'll always take a backup of your site Number two, put your site in maintenance mode. Number three, remove the core and vendor directories and all of the files in the top level directory, except any that you might have added. Now note, if you've made modifications to any of those files, you'll need to reapply those changes. Read through the directions here on the default.settings.php and once again, read the release notes for your version. Download the latest release of Drupal, extract it, and copy all of the files into your Drupal directory. Now, remember, you'll want to merge directories and overwrite the files. It's best to do this via FTP or, again, through SSH if you have access to that. Step number five, reapply your modifications if you've made any, and then finally, run update.php. So let's go ahead and do that on the Drupal site we were looking at. So I'm going to select all of the files and the core and vendor folder, but I'm not going to select modules, profiles, sites, or themes. Those are the folders created for all of my own site inside the Drupal-8-15 folder come up to my Drupal 8-15 folder, remove all of the files, including the core folder, and I don't have a vendor folder, and I'm going to paste those, and it's going to ask me where I want to stop, replace, or merge, so I'm going to merge this folder. Now I'm going to run update.php on my Drupal 8 Beta 15 site. Click Continue. There are 21 depending updates, and now you know why you should have a backup before you do this. Click Apply. It's going to update my database and all of my system files. And if all goes well, I should be on the latest version of Drupal. If I go to my administration pages, and I click on Reports, and I look at Available Updates, you'll notice I'm now on the latest version of Drupal Core at the time of this recording. So again, make sure you look at the upgrade.txt file and follow the directions.